Hey everybody and welcome back. So we move on to the next new contents for season four two thousand twenty two built for iRacing. So this time we're gonna go to southern Norway, um, to visit a track called Rusker again. I can't pronounce it correctly, I don't think, but I think it's Rusker again Motor Center. Something like that. Um, and this is what the track looks like. It is um, a Herman Choke design, designed a track. So I think this track's been around some of the 90s or something like that. Let me look up. But I, I believe it's been around some of the 90s. Yes, 1990 was when it's open. And then um, they completely redid the track in like 2012 or something like that using um, Herman Choke. Something like that. Um, so it got the long, it got two long straights, which is very character, right on character with um, with um Herman Choke, and then you got all, a bunch of twisted turns to finish the course. So that's what the track looked like, and I'm gonna leave it in the corner for you guys to see. Um, so leave it right there for now. Serve as some kind of trap map. Alright, here we go. Um, we're gonna be running in the 4 and the 4 core because that's what they race here in real world. Um, it's usually the 4 and the 4, 4 and the 3, Porsche, um, Ferrari, and a couple other, couple others. I mean, you can see um, Porsche have a tent here. I think that's where they store their cores at this track. For people to take out for the spin. So yeah, from what I see on the map, this is a very, very rocky track. This track is like Fort Rots. Oh, I can leave it. Alright, we should be fine for um test station. Alright, and then we're going down this long straight with a bunch of rocks on either side. Like there's a lot of rocks. And then, here's this turn, the right hand, the, oh, it's gonna be pretty, oh, she, that came up fast. But yeah, I have decided to do this track at sunset, you know, to change things up. And then you got, um, this interesting double, or triple, a pit, to go around. And then, you turn to the right, and then got this little straight. And then there's another tight corners here. Oh gee. It's kinda of, it's kinda of, um a little bit banker. Yeah, this track is gonna be a lot to figure out for sure. And then there's this kinda of roundabout feature here. Something that's why I think of it. The round bound. And then got this long straight down the track, down the long straight into the first corner. The first corner is gonna be um a tight left handler. Oh gosh, that's 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 a lot sharper than I was thinking. That came out very sharp for the first turn. I think that's gonna get a lot of people. I think you're gonna see a lot of lap one corner one crashes because of the. But uh, you survive the first corner, then go for it. Got another fast corner here. Yep. A couple fast corners. And this is gonna be, yeah, this is um, a fast corner in four and four. Oh, gee. Yeah, you pretty much have to be very precise with the racing line to go fast here. I think there's gonna be um, a pretty big gap. Um, a big gap of um, paces between people for this place. That's for sure. This is gonna be um, a lot of learning to do for this track. What's cool there is you can kind of boost the curb in here. That's a really core cool core about this. And you definitely want to make sure you have a fast exit out of that corner. You know, it's, it's the long straight. And this corner, you have to be very, very careful. 
It's very sharp. It will get you. It will get you if you're not careful. You're pretty much hugging the creeping over the place here. So hugging the creeping. I love this track. I love it. And I'm, I'm so happy this is a free track. This is um a free track. So the cast is Daytona 2008. It's no longer free. So this is kind of like iRacing Trey. You know, they switch around the free tracks. They're pretty numb. The 2008 Daytona under the 2011 Daytona. Well, technically it's 2021 Daytona. They're putting it all in the same place. So 2008 Daytona is l no longer free. So we get this as a free track instead. But I love it. I love this. This is awesome. This is awesome. Probably one of my new favorites, I think, from iRacing. I love this kind of track. Whoa. Which is, I can't believe I'm saying, because I usually do like choke tracks. But this one, this, this one's a banger. This one's a banger. I love this. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna pull off. Alright, that was awesome. Alright, we're gonna watch the lap. Um, watch the lap o over the TV camera real quick. So here what it looks like from outside watching on the TV. Sorry, it's a little bit dark, but... I think this is awesome. I th oh, I got a little bit of grass. And then you got this tricky this tricky corner here that's pretty fast. And then you got another corner here that make you go even slower. And um, very short left and right. Get through that very quickly. And then you got um, some kind of double effect turns here or a triple or whatever and then you straight up got this short straight down the hill this is a very hilly track very hilly track that's for sure um i think this, this is gonna be awesome track for i for new people to try out this is a great rookie track i think this is gonna be a great rookie track for new people to try out and do the do one of their first races this is gonna be a great rookie track, in my opinion. Yeah, well, this track get a mark for me. It's an awesome new content. It's an awesome new content, in my opinion. All right, we're kind of gonna look around. Sorry about the sun. Sorry about the sky. The sky is a little bit weird here. So forgive the sky. So we got the track office here. It's fit, got the some kind of world sense. How do I move around? I guess not moving around right now. So I say, um... You got this long straight here. We got the garage doors. I'm surprised we'll have something like not hill with the open garage door. That'd be nice, you know, to have open garage door here. Kind of like not hill. Very surprised by now. And then, obviously, going down the first corner here. Very, very tight. This is going to get a lot of people. There's so many different ways you can take this corner. And I think this is going to get a lot of people. And then, um, I can see people kind of cutting through the second corner here. You know, that I can see for sure. How do I move around? Why is not move? Last lane. Can't really move around right now. 
all right, well, I can't move around apparently. But you get the, you get what I'm seeing with the long, the second long straight, with a bunch of rats. And it's kind of like this damn hill, this damn hill straight. And you kind of go back up the hill a little bit, going down here. Um, going down here. Got a couple com um, corners, compacts, complexes. And then, um... Got this, you got this lighthouse thing here. Look like a lighthouse to be from a distance. And I think it's, I think it's an awesome looking lighthouse thing. I think I'm gonna call it, I think I'm gonna call it a lighthouse. And then, um, you can clearly tell they work really hard to gig up, gig up this track. They got their rocks everywhere. They probably blasted a bunch of rocks to create this track in the real world. But yeah, you got a couple 90 degrees corners. Got like a bunch of office houses. You got the go kart track. I think I think this track, this little track, is for go karting. And then um, we got this um, roundabout looking theme here. It's kind of true 70 degrees term. I don't know how to describe it. You go left for 90 degrees, and then you kind of go around to set. 270 degrees, so it's kind of like 360 degrees turn in a way. But yeah, um, that's it. I'm sorry about the buzzing noise. There's like a leap below our outside. So that's what you're hearing. So, um, yeah, I think this is awesome. I think this is an awesome looking track. I think you're, I think you guys are gonna love it. I think this is going to be a lot of people's favorites, for sure. This is like the most annoying sounds outside with the leap blowers. I'm so sorry about that. Um, it's a good thing because I'm pretty much done with this. Um, first impression for you. So yeah. That was my first impression video of the newest track in Norway. Um, it's free, so you'll, ha you'll have to buy this. You do not have to buy this track. It is free, so keep that in mind. So, definitely hop on to an iRacing and try this track out. Definitely try it out with the former 4 core. It's a blast. It's a fun combo. Um, I think you are going to be enjoying this a lot. So, thank you very much iRacing for getting this track. I can't believe we got this track. It's kind of out blue. But I guess they probably scanned this track when they went to Norway to scan the rally cross track. Hell, you know, the the rally cross track. Hell, I don't know if this is the. I don't know if this track had the rally cross layout or not. I don't think so, but I, I can double check there. Well, thank you very much for watching this one. Um, I hope you all liked the video. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.